prayers on the battlefield. Sometimes they're whispered. Sometimes they're screamed at the sky. Usually, you hear them in the last quiet moments before the war's fighting starts. The final calm. Prayers for victory or for providence. Prayers for forgiveness. Whatever's in a soldier's heart, whatever longing, you hear it spoken then. Sometimes you hear prayers for wisdom on the field, for guidance or direction. Show me what to do out there, Lord. Guide my feet, my hands. Guide my heart, lest I lose my way. I've heard appeals of all sorts out there. Secret selfish prayers. But sometimes prayers are for others. I've heard many for the dying and dead. I've heard soldiers pray for their own enemies. And of course, I've heard them pray for their allies. I sometimes pray myself. Hell, I admit it. In those moments when it's looking grim, what do I pray for? I pray for the one thing that I think everyone is praying for deep down. The thing that all other prayers ask in one way or another too. I pray for the fight to mean something. For all the pain and suffering, all the sacrifice. For it to change things for the better. Even if we lose. Even if we don't get to see it. For the battle to push things forward. Push them up the hill. Part of a crooked goddamn climb, but a climb nonetheless. In the end, I pray for the fight, the unseen parts, the forgotten parts, the hidden parts, all of it to matter. Yes, I've heard a lot of battlefield prayers. The sad truth is, God never answers. But on that day, on that last scorched battlefield, to all our surprise, she did. Everyone get ready. They're amassing. Why are they just standing there? They're trying to intimidate us. Show us their numbers. Let them. Now let's show them ours. You do see, there are way more of them, right? So? We're a freaking universe united. We got the powers, the heart, we're hotter. Clark, the one who laughs didn't have much time to make these worlds before we destabilize the Earth and cut off his power to create. I was thinking of the same thing. Many of those Earths could be empty. This might be his whole army. Then we leave everything on the field. Use every trick in our belts and up our sleeves until there's nothing left. He's right. We beat him back. You want to say it, kid? All right, everyone. Charge! You're getting tired, my queen. I can sense it. All the remaining crisis energy was redirected to me. Your power is dwindling fast. Maybe so, but your power is limited as well. They destabilized Earth, the center of the multiverse. You can no longer draw energy from it. True, but I have more than enough to kill you. Ingrate! Thing protecting this multiverse from detection by my kind. I die, and the hands will come here. See what's been done, and they will end us all. Promise. Keep fighting. We can win this. You okay, Sullivan? Kill you on Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. We're thinning them out. He's right. We're making headway. Wherever you are, Diana. Godspeed. 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 Your power is nearly gone, but just for fun, I've saved one last surprise for you. These fragments, do you recognize them? They're part of the source wall, the structure that the hands imprisoned you inside of for eons. No! All I wanted was to evolve your kind, to make you strong and... <sighs> I know what you wanted, but you, your sons, and all your crisis children, you fail to understand us at our most fundamental level. Beings like you, you see humanity, see our dark instincts, instincts dangerous to the universe and ourselves, and you try to save us. Your sons, the monitors try to govern us. Proxies like Darkseid try to control us. You, you sought to mother us, to indulge 
indulge us and, in return, have us worship you in placated gratitude. But the mistake all you gods make, my queen, is thinking that deep down we want to be better than our instincts, that we want to know grace and humility. See, we don't want to be saved. It's you who want to be saved from us. So die knowing this one thing, that we look at you trying to save us, and we laugh. <laughs> Something's happening. Look! They're retreating! That's right. You better run. If Diana just gets back before the one who laughs can get here and fix the Earth, he'll be cut off from the power source. No more dark armies, no more planets will have him. Something doesn't feel right. You're missing your arm. It's not that. I feel it too, Dad. Something's different. Maybe we just forgot how it feels to win! I mean, uh, it has been a while. No, Charles Wright. The Earth, it's been shifted. I feel it too. The one who laughs, he's... he's coming. On the contrary, Abigail. I'm already here. And in the time it took you to cheer, I finished creating all my planets, all my armies. Here are my favorite soldiers though, the ones I've been saving for your last moments. Your darkest nightmares come to kill you. Clark, I, I just want you to know that our friendship... I know, brother. Everyone, gather with your families. Fight alongside them. We go out together. All right, everyone. This is it. We fight as one army, one planet, one universe. One universe. One universe. Together. Lois, thank you for this life, for our son, for being my home. Thank you, Clark, for being the best in every way. One universe. I... I can feel it. All our history. All the stories. Everything we've done, good, bad, all of it, becoming one history, one story, one truth. One who laughs. You want to fight someone? I'm right here. Oh, oh.